Good morning, TEDx Youth San Diego. How you doing? All right, my name is Peter Gilson. I have the privilege of working at the San Diego Zoo. We're a world famous institution for our plant and animal collections. We're so much more than that. We are a, a leader in preserving animals and their habitats around the world. Now, I'm here to talk to you about something called biomimicry today, but before I do that, you're probably all wondering who this is. Uh, this lovely lady is Laveau. She's an American alligator, and I'll tell you more about her in just a minute, but let's start by talking about some of the basics of biomimicry. Um, in its simplest sense, biomimicry is design inspired by nature. It's an interdisciplinary approach that looks to nature to draw connections between nature and technological improvements we might be able to make. Now, take the gecko on the slide behind me that'll come up here in just a minute. As an example, geckos are world-renowned for their ability to climb on just about any surface. Uh, and scientists have studied this to understand how they're able to do that. And they found they actually have tiny little hair-like fibers on the ends of their toes that attract to the molecules in the surfaces they walk on. Now, they're working with engineers to try to figure out if we can figure out how to create better adhesive technology using what geckos have in their toes. Now let's talk about Laveau here. She's an American alligator, like I said, and they've adapted over millions of years to become top predators in their environment. If you look at her, she's got all of her main senses right there on the top of her head, and that helps her to be an ambush predator. She can sit in the water and submerge almost her whole body, but still be able to see, hear, and smell. Now she's got little black dots around her mouth, and that's a sixth sense that we don't even have. Uh, it's able to detect movements in the water around her, and that helps her be a great predator. Now, if we could understand how she's able to do this, we could apply it to diagnostic uh, tools in medicine. Now, she's covered in scales, just like every reptile is. That's really important for her. It's basically a coat of armor. Uh, she uses that to protect herself from any predators and other alligators that might want to compete with her. And if we can understand how those scales are constructed, we could maybe make more du durable yet flexible materials. Now, the last adaptation I want to tell you about uh, is something you can't actually even see, and I think it's the most exciting of all. Scientists for years have found adult alligators in the wild that are missing limbs, have huge scars, and they were wondering how they were able to survive such massive injuries. So they started studying their blood. And when they tested their blood, they found it killed all 16 strains of harmful bacteria it was exposed to, and even killed a herpes and an HIV virus. Now, I'm sure you can imagine what implications that could have for the medical field, right? I mean, that's huge. If we can understand the immunity that these animals have developed over time, we could really help out humanity. Now, those are just a few examples of biomimicry, and, and it, I don't know what fields you guys are planning to go into in the future. You guys probably don't even know yet, but I can almost guarantee you that in some way, you're going to be affected by biomimicry. Um, more than an industry, it's a new way of looking at life. It's about being curious about what you see around you and trying to understand the natural processes that go on in the world. I hope you guys can take something about biomimicry and apply it to whatever you do to better our world in the future. Thank you.